Alright, uh, this is the easy way to play Wicked Game by Chris Isaac with the capo. Alright, um, what you're gonna do is put the capo on the third fret right here. Um, if you don't have one of these, it's the same thing as Barnet. But, um, I suggest getting one of these if you're a beginner. Um, the basic three chords to the song is with the capo on is A minor. G D Alright, um, let's start with how to do a basic A minor chord. Alright, starting with your index finger, on the first fret, you're going to put it second string. Alright, and then ring finger on the second fret, third string, and then middle finger on the second fret, fourth string. Alright, like that. And then from that position, you can play a G chord, which all it is, it may look confusing, but you're doing this. A minor to G, you're taking your middle finger, and you're putting it on the 6th string 3rd fret. Taking your index finger, you're putting it right under it on the 5th string 2nd fret, right here. And then you're taking your ring finger and you're putting it on the third fret first string let me see if I can get a good angle of everything alright and then after A minor and G you go to D alright and this chord looks confusing too if you're not used to seeing it from a close up and what a D is, starting with your index finger, second fret, third string, and then middle finger, second fret, first string, and there's like a little string in between them right here. You're going to put your ring finger on the third fret, second string, like that. Alright. And those are the three chords you play. So changing up, A minor. G D Alright, let's go through some strumming patterns. Alright, with the strum, you could do it a couple of ways. Um move this. You could do it the basic up down. Well, Or you could do it like I would, like I would do it, which is like. Which is kind of just adding some fill in strike notes where you just strike a certain note. And um, that you could actually almost pull off just doing randomly. Alright, and um, with this, it's important that when you're doing the strumming, that the beats for each, the A minor, the G, and the D, the D is going to be doubled with, with the A minor and G were. So the A minor is... And then the G is the exact same way. But then the D... It's got a little bit of an extension because it's usually the end of the phrase. No one can save me but you. Then you go back into the A minor. Alright. Um, that's about it, really. If you want to watch me change up my fingers a little bit, here we go.